all right guys welcome back to the youtube channel today we are back with another video we've had some major rebranding and i promise to you guys it's gonna be bigger and better so let's move into it and let's talk about today's topic today i'm gonna talk about loops all right guys without wasting time um the first thing that you need you need to know about loops is that you know in case you want to send something to let's say a client and you don't want to repeat yourself over and over so in that case you know in that sort of scenario we use loops so um and if we talk about for loops in particular today um the way you write them is that you you write a for then open um versus then um you need an initializer you need a condition then lastly an increment or a decrement and we're going to take a look at how that works then within here this is where you write your own statements all right okay guys um let's go ahead and write our first for loop all right guys so uh, the first thing you're going to take note when writing for loops is that whenever you're writing a loop with um just one line of code you're not gonna need um the curly braces all right but then if you're writing um more than one line of statement then definitely you're gonna need curly braces and then you'll include everything in there i'll show you in a minute how to do that but in case you just have only one line just it, all you gotta do is to write a for then initializer whereby you're letting the uh, first index to be zero then you're comparing uh, the number of indices that you're gonna loop through over this is the condition to be um, less than five so that means it's gonna loop from zero to five and the way it's gonna loop from zero to five is by adding an increment okay so the way we do that is index plus plus and then if we go ahead and execute this within here also you're gonna see that the results just the result just looks super perfect all right so um the next thing um we're gonna do is how to print um let's say uh, even numbers all right and this is a very common um algorithm that is asked um you know for you to loop even numbers okay and pretty much really nothing is gonna change here but just like i said this time round you are gonna use because i'm including a comment section it's also counted as a statement so you need to include uh, braces out here so the way we're gonna do is that um, we're gonna do the usual from zero to five then increment at every single loop then we're gonna check for the even numbers and the way we check for even numbers is that we're comparing each index if that index has a remainder of if that index when divided by two the remainder is zero then go ahead and um, print that that index right so the same thing the same approach happens for loops it's the same thing with the if statements if you have one statement then yes you don't need the, the braces but if you need you got several um you know the drill all right so and if we take a look at that it's gonna be it's gonna look at zero the first index and then uh, if when zero is if zero is divided by two what's the remainder remainder is zero so that's an even number so one one divided by two what's the remainder that's not zero so it will skip that it will go to two two divided by two the remainder is zero then it will go on and on and on until so i guess you get the drill so let's take a look at how to print um how to loop over odd numbers all right um and it's gonna be the same approach again here and um uh, what we're gonna do the difference here um i just want to give you the algorithm because the rest is pretty much the same all right so uh, what we're doing here is that we're comparing if every index that we're looping through from zero to five if that index has a remainder that is not zero then just go ahead and print that number and that's an odd number right okay um go ahead and change this so these are even numbers okay it's odd 
All right, it seems pretty good. Uh, looks like we're going through things pretty fast, which is pretty impressive. So um, let's look at how to reverse through um, a loop. All right, and the way we do that um, is that again, uh, we're gonna declare. Um, remember we say we need an, an initializer so we're declaring an initializer so this time around since we are looping from um, you know the greatest number backwards so now the first initializer is gonna be five or whatever number that you want to look backwards from so it's gonna be five then we're gonna look at that index so whatever whenever this index is greater than zero then go ahead and increment it or uh, sorry decrement it all right so it's gonna look for five is five uh greater than zero yes and then it will print five okay, this really gives a clear picture is that um it's looking at five it's five greater than zero yes then it's gonna print that five and then um it will decrement that index so in memory um the index is no longer gonna be five anymore it's gonna be five minus one so um this minus minus is pretty much the same as um writing i i plus one this really confuses a lot of people a lot of people but it's pretty much the same this is the same as um, I'm sorry, uh, this will be a minus. So if it's a minus, it's the same as that. And if it's a plus, just go ahead and include a sum over there. So, um, and then, uh, you know, it's going to decrement it and then look for four this time around. So is four greater than zero? Yes. Is three greater than zero? Yes. Is two greater than, is two greater than zero? Yes. All right. Okay, so let's um, go back to... Um, now this time around um, comparing reversing but at the same time printing let's say even numbers right so um, they are looking at 5 is 5 greater than 0 yes then 5 um, does it have a remainder that is not 0 yes then uh, whatever uh, then five will be printed. We're printing out, sorry, not even numbers. We're printing out odd numbers. So the same approach is going to be the same with um, even numbers. Um, let's see if we can uh, do one more thing here. Um, let's see how we can use loops to print. Uh, numbers in a list right so uh, what we're gonna do uh, and in future by the way uh, before we move forward um, I'm gonna be uploading um, a chapter about lists dictionaries in JavaScript so this is just a sneak peek of what's happening but I'll definitely upload a video so if you haven't if you're new here just go ahead and subscribe the channel is growing and uh, every week, uh, weekend we try to upload a new video in programming so we can influence other developers to really grow and understand the weird parts of programming so uh, without further ado let's um, take a look at this list so we have a list of one two three up to six all right and we want to loop through this so the way we do that is that we, we initialize again from um, index zero then uh, we're gonna be uh, including um, we're gonna be testing if that index um, you know zero at the moment is it um, um, as uh, less than you know the length um, of this very list right and then if if it is then um, we're gonna be obviously incrementing that all right it can be a little tricky in the first place to figure out what's going on but uh, when you do this over and over you can definitely understand what's going on all right um so um what happens is that like i so we're looking if i is zero okay and is if you know zero is less than the length of this list what is the length of this this is one two three four five um six all right so those are six um the length is just containing six um figures in there so if is if zero is less than the length you know six then 
um, printed and then increment it in memory all right um, so this is gonna be printed here zero will be printed and then it's gonna be incremented so definitely this is a post increment so there is also I'll also upload a video about um, post increments download this very script and then play around with it and um, you know find out new stuff that you can so um, next week we're gonna be uploading a video about while loops and then later we shall be working with um, do while loops then thereafter we shall work with arrays or lists and then definitely wrap up our javascript course thank you for watching and uh, bye bye and don't stop learning. Oh, 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 oh,